Hey everybody, welcome back to Afterlife SMP episode 5. Wait, is it 5 or 6? Or, or 4? I don't remember. But, we have a couple things back at the main area that we gotta check out real quick. And first and foremost, we have a new games district. Uh, built by Whitefire. Right here, we got the road and these cool little towers. Uh, they're pretty nice. I like that arch. It looks very elegant, you know? And then this, this is not new, but it's been here for a while. I thought I'd show it off. It looks pretty cool. I've never even seen what's inside. Wow, this looks really awesome. Yeah, I never had the chance to see all this, but it's pretty awesome. And then over here, we do have a game already built by Hugh. And I watched his episode on it. I highly suggest it. It's pretty, pretty epic. And uh, we got these little pods, and you kind of build stuff in them and then like other players uh vote on them i think i think that's how it works it's pretty cool we're gonna have to get into that a little bit later i want to eventually do more collabs but for now i only have like one or two times out of the week where there's like a good really good time for me to actually have a collab with someone so we have been working in the winter village for the past uh two or three episodes I'm not sure, but we are going to take a break, and we are going to head down this tunnel I've already made off into a completely new area. No, it has never been seen before. At least I think it's never been seen before, and it's a really awesome area. It's pretty far down here, like at least 300, almost 400 blocks, but I just love this area, and I couldn't pass it up because we are going to be building here for quite a long time, hopefully. Welcome to this new area. And it's like a valley. Uh, I, I really love this area. It looks awesome. And let's take a flyby just to see how it looks all. Yes, look at this. It just is so awesome. We got so much space of potential buildings and awesome stuff. But what actually drew me here uh, starting out when I first got here is this little island. Like, look at this. This is like the most perfect little island. We can build like a nice, small place oh yeah i completely forgot to mention i went ahead and got a bunch of materials back from the winter village and brought them over here uh, and i've gone ahead and flattened the top of that and i think for this area i don't really actually have a particular theme i want to build in usually i'm like oh i'm gonna build in a medieval style oh i'm gonna do this and that I'm not going to do anything of that that i really just want to build freely and just you know put have an idea and throw it in here Alright, so I think to start out this video, we need to hop into a time lapse and uh, make this island <laughs> look a little better than it is. It kind of just looks like a stone blob that it's, it's just, yeah, it's not, no, it's not good. Let's fix that. Alright, well that was pretty simple and easy, kind of short. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, I did size up the, uh, island. I just thought it was a little too small. And I think now, w I'm gonna fill in all this later on, but we're gonna decorate the top of this island. And first, we're gonna get all rid of all this snow. It's getting annoying. Okay, and so, and actually, what I was thinking is eventually we can make, like, an awesome little, uh, staircase coming up to this peak. And I wanna make a nice rope bridge. I mean, obviously made out of spruce, because you don't have ropes but uh, we can make it coming right down here. So how I like to build rope bridges or like bridges in general that are kind of wonky like this. I like building up with a little bit of dirt as kind of like a base framework. And then see as right here, you can see that it makes it nice and easy. And then you can come back in and be like, oh, well, that one's a little too long. And this one, okay, well, it keeps going, keeps going. Okay, this is, you know what? We might have to take this back just a little bit. See, so we get something sort of consistent. I actually do not want it, like, super consistent. So maybe we bring this one down and give it a nice little dip. I think that could be fun. There we go. I think that has a nice little, like, kind of like a little dip there. And then, after that, we come in and we fill this in with, well, all the actual bridge which is going to be spruce wood in our case so i can go ahead and fill this in and i'll catch you guys in a little bit and then we can work on this island hopefully all right i've laid in the base shape for this place but uh now i would like to add some like uh pillars of log that come up and uh it kind of looks like support but, but really it does absolutely nothing like if if this were the real world 
I'm obviously building some very fantasy based stuff. I got a floating island, so <laughs> that kind of gives it away. Maybe not gives it away, maybe gives it off, I guess is a better word for that. Uh, yeah, but we're going to build these little pillars, and I need to get some scaffolding and uh, come under these and make them, you know, shorter, or I mean longer going downward. Uh, just messing up words. Alright, there we go. That looks pretty good. And you know what would be really good? Some leaves kind of hanging down from there. Uh, like some really old creepy vines. And uh, as I said earlier, I'm just building and, you know, seeing what comes to mind. And I think this is looking really awesome so far. What do you guys think? Alright, and just piling up here, maybe one more. Uh, put in this leaf here. And, oh, no, come on. Right, right, no, no, no. Okay, this is annoying. <laughs> Beautiful. That looks, uh, you know what, scaffolding, no, that's not looking beautiful, but this, oh yes, that looks beautiful, I love that. Oh yes, that is super nice, I really love that. Um, I think I want to fill this in, you know what, first, I have one more task I want to do, and it's in the nether. So we're here in the nether, and we're going to fly all the way back to the main nether fortress, not this one, the main one, because we need to hunt some wither skeletons. I want to get a beacon that I can call my very own. So let's cue, um, uh, not gas killing me. Let's cue the epic wither fighting cinematic, uh, time lapse video thing. I really need to come up with a better name for these. Alright, and I'm back, and I didn't get three skulls, but we did get one, and it was like the first group of skeletons I killed, uh, super awesome, I really like that, I really like when stuff just conveniently happens like that, and, you know, I think like half of my Afterlife episodes, there's been one section of the video where like, I'm, I'm like, I need to go get some gear, let's go get some gear, cause look, <laughs> I'm really running low on all the gear. So, can you guess what part of the video it is right now? It's gear getting time. And I look really cool with this skeleton head. So I know I did a caving thing last video, so I'm just gonna do all of the caving and stuff off camera, uh, just so I don't bore you guys with the same content in a row. Uh, anyways, I'll be back in like four hours, cause that's how long it took last time, and I'm gonna get lots of diamonds. I'm gonna become the richest Afterlife member in in four hours all right and i got very lucky and we have 23 diamond ores down in the mines which i uh made one right here and i thought i'd show me mining these on camera because let's be honest mining diamonds is just the most wholesome and satisfying thing in minecraft ever so here you go enjoy your uh th 20 seconds of wholesome minecraft content All right, and we got 45 diamonds. That is quite uh, amazing, yes. And now we're gonna c jump cut again, and I need to go and make a bunch of new diamond gear. This is gonna be hopefully like our best, maybe permanent set. I wanna get mending on it and do all that stuff. So I'll be back in a bit. I'm definitely not buying mending books from Jay. I'm gonna try and get my own villager because um, let's be honest, I I'm not paying eight diamonds for one book that's way overpriced all right actually before i go off and build some gear check this out guys we have acquired 20 diamonds from our golden apple shop we built in the last episode i just quickly built it found a golden apple i wanted some quick diamonds and there we go someone bought it don't know who you'll have to find out in another person's episode but that's really awesome now we can just take this down and I'm going to go work on building up some diamond gear, and hopefully we can also find a villager for mending. Okay, and I am back with awesome gear, and let's just drop down here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Feather falling four on diamond boots, and want to know the coolest part about this? 
we still have 41 diamonds to spare. That is amazing. I've, I don't think I've ever had this many diamonds at one time. Like full diamond gear. Oh, it just feels great. As you can see, we do have a little bit of unfinished business up there. And we also want to get a zombie villager and cure it so we can get mending books. Oh, okay. Because we obviously we are not buying from Jay. But I need to fill this in. And I want to really decorate this island and make it look awesome. As I said from like the start of the video, we need to make this look awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in each of these four sides, four corners. And then I think we can make an awesome little uh, island where we can set atop our nether portal. All right, boys and girls, check this out. We have captured a uh, uh, dude. This is totally, I was building up the island and stuff. And, well, I stumbled upon this guy while I was coming out here. I don't even know why I was coming out here, but I saw this guy. Spotted him down in the plains. And, yeah, now we got a zombie villager, and we can get mending on all of our gear. And don't forget about the tools. So, we just gotta uh, not let this guy despawn. I'm not sure how I want to do that. Oh, wait, check this out, guys. He already has a block he's holding. So, we are good to go. We can go ahead and get our weakness potion from back at our base and we got a golden apple from one of these chests yeah right there and i found a golden apple in the chest and i'm gonna head back to the base heal up this guy and finish up the grass work up there okay and i finally finished placing in the dirt up there but better yet i have got us some mending books because if we pop back to the villager we found right down here this beautiful guy here one emerald mending books oh yes the only problem is that i don't have books and i need more sugar cane so we may have to take a, a quick stop to kb's greens to grab some of those later on i do want to get a nice supply of mending books but for now what we got is doing all right now i do want to bring some dirt coming down like uh drooping like the leaves like that and you know what that reminds me i don't have the texture pack on but uh it'll kind of look like chocolate melting on the island uh, but you know what I think this place needs? I think it needs a little bit of custom treeage. So in this area, I do want to build some nice droopy looking uh, custom trees. Kind of similar to a tree I built in my raid farm video. Uh, I, I built a tree similar to this in that area. Oh, and I probably should mention I did that in my uh, Amplified Survival Series. Those are some of my older videos I know, so it's not as seen. So something like this, I think, is going to work out. And let's get a better aerial view. Ah, uh, that. Yes, that looks pretty good. Maybe if we bring this up just a couple more blocks. And, yes, we can add, like, a little... Uh, I don't know what to call it. A little uh, thing at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some leaves. And then we can actually, well, put the leaves on there. I've already used dark oak to... Uh, droop on the sides there so i'm not gonna use dark oak on the tree i think this will be okay though okay i went ahead and turned on the texture pack but slowly we're just gonna put leaves in here and uh, this is gonna be a very airy tree i want this to be a very leafy looking tree if you get what i mean but also have spots of air to give the tree more depth and if you've watched to this point of the video you may have noticed that it has been a little bit more of a low-key episode than some of my other videos I've been doing a lot of uh, other work on the survival, and I hope you guys are not too bothered by it. I've just been slightly chilling back a little bit, trying to work a more on myself on different parts in the survival world, and I think you guys are going to really enjoy once I start recording that up again. And there we go. Now I'm going to dot a couple more of these around in d different areas around here. And I think we can almost call this a finished product. All right, there we go. And uh, let me pop up here. I've made the island kind of look like chocolate, as I said earlier. And the trees, I've added two more. I don't want to over tree it, you know. Add a little bit of grass. And I think it's pretty basic, pretty simple. Uh, but you know what? That's looking all right. I wanted to get working on this big old area of snow in this episode. But I've run out of time to make this video. I hope it's not too bad. I've really been working a lot on the on the other survival series. So I'm going to have to end the episode here. And I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video of the Afterlife SMP. 
and hopefully we can get back to work and uh you know do something with this area i'll catch you guys later in the next video goodbye